hours in travel, thousands of dollars in legal fees, and all the heartache a family could handle. A first co coast couple trying to adopt a child from South Carolina says they feel like their baby has been taken from them by the system. Caitlin Ross is live tonight with their story, Kate. Heather, this family already had plans for their little girl. They wanted to take her to the park with her sisters, take her to the movies, ice skating. But now all of that is on hold. When I'm putting the, my children to bed, I'm like, if is she put to bed every night, you know, does someone read to her? The crib where Brianna would sleep is set up for the 10 month old, but stands empty. It's gut wrenching. I've cried and cried. I get angry, then I question myself, but it's it's just gut wrenching because I feel like my child's been taken from me, and there's nothing that we can do. Two, two, three, two. Mm -hmm. Kelly and Chris Woods have been trying to adopt the baby girl from South Carolina for seven months. Chris, a firefighter here in Jacksonville, and Kelly, a stay-at-home mom, already have three children of their own but say they felt like they had to help save Brianna. They've spent more than $15,000 in legal fees, complying with every request of the South Carolina Department of Social Services, but still they were denied custody. Just can't go quietly and deny. There's a baby girl with no other voice at stake here. The child's biological father is Kelly's cousin, but has given up his parental rights. Her biological mother is in prison on drug charges, but has legally signed over her parental rights to the woods. She wants them to adopt her baby. We've been very open with each other, um, and she still very much wants this. This is her wish. But the Department of Social Services in South Carolina won't allow that to happen. The baby is living with a woman named Rebecca Holland. The only connection she has to the baby is she was a roommate of Brianna's biological mom before she went to prison. In court papers, Rebecca Holland says she takes the child with her to collect junk around the city so she can sell it. While she did not want to talk on camera, Holland told First Coast News Brianna had lived with her since birth and she wants to adopt her. But the Woods say it's not what her mother wants. She's scared for her daughter to remain in custody of this woman. But last month, a judge ruled that Brianna would stay there. The Woods say against her mother's wishes. She was devastated. She was in tears. I mean, she wants nothing more than that for us to have her, to have the baby. DSS told First Coast News this is a closed adoption case and they can't comment. But the Woods say they haven't told them anything either. Uh, we, that's what we keep asking, why, why? And no one can give us that answer. So for now, they wait and worry about the child they already consider their own. She's in danger. She's not healthy. And, you know, I thought DSS and everything was there for the children. They're not. Now, the Woods do say they plan to appeal this decision, but their lawyer says it could take months and there are no guarantees. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Caitlin Ross, First Coast News. Caitlin, thank you.